June 2024, we have just created something previously unattainable, almost unattainable. When everyone around you is excited about artificial intelligence and that some robot in your phone will tell you something when you pay it, we have forgotten our roots, something we grew up with. And that's how I created a game in Microsoft Paint. Well, sort of, Python helped with that a bit and the internet in general. So our game should be as simple as possible because creating a paint game is already demanding. So we will look for inspiration. Maybe what are games for Nokia? Wait, what? It must be AI. Such games don't exist. The only game I remember from Nokia is Snake and something else. Well, something similar. I searched a bit more and finally came up with a great idea, Agar Isle. Bro, this game is so simple. There is a player. He collects points, grows, it can be a success. So let's create a board. However, I would do it on individual pixels, which will make moving around easier. So scale it up a bit. Some coding mess, and that's it. Let's say a rectangle is enough. Now it's time for the player. In Agar it looks like this. In ours it will look like this. I think they're even similar, but it's brilliant because when we click Control and plus, our player gets bigger. I thought about it all. The next step is movement. It went smoothly here, but it's a pity that the player doesn't move smoothly. How are they at 4 FPS here? Yes, this game will be fire. Now we will try to generate some points on the board and we will be able to play this game. Now we come to the most important point, collision detection. Like it's paint, there may be a problem with it. We can't make a literal collision. We have to think about it. So the plan is to pass the point when the cursor is in a similar position to our dots. Yes, this is genius. It's time for the last point, enlarging the player. And here all that's literally, that's all. Okay, let's test it. Wait, why doesn't it work? Okay. I had to research the entire internet just because I spelled the plus wrong. But now it's the last test. Our game has developed in a very short time. Developers from all over the world are wondering how it's made. Nothing can go wrong. Okay, I didn't think about that. But it's still a MS Paint game. It's revolutionary. And these errors are just details.